Hi, this is Steve with Raybuck Auto Body Parts. Uh, you guys are probably familiar with the 53 Chevy pickup that we have here. This is the one that we built a few years back. Um, we've had it on the road for a while. Love driving it. The whole point of the truck was to be able to build it and uh, drive it long distances. We want to take it out to cruises and you know just take it out on, uh, on a weekend and just drive it around. Um, one of the issues we had though was highway gearing. So we put a uh, Turbo 350 in it, which is a great transmission, solid. Um, but on the highway, it's revving a bit high. So we decided to look around, see what our options are, and see what we could put in here to give us some better, uh, some better gearing on the highway. So we looked at, obviously the 350 was in there, we looked at a 400, we looked at a 700R4, um, and decided the 700R4 was the way to go. So what we get with the 700R4 versus the 350 or even the, the 400 is a better uh, top end gear. Well, we get a fourth gear out of it. So instead of a uh, one to one ratio, we're gonna get a 0.7 ratio in fourth. What that translates to, at least in this specific truck, we have 308 gears in the rear end, we have a 28 inch tire in the back, and we have a small block Chevy, not that that really is gonna make any difference, but the gearing, changing that last gear, or getting a 0.7 versus a one, is gonna take us at uh, about 2600 RPM at 70 miles an hour down to about 1800 RPM. So that's a huge, huge difference, um, which will make a big difference on the highway. On top of that, we get a better first gear. So we're gonna get a little bit more low end gear, uh, so a little bit better pickup coming out of it. So for example, the 350 that we have has a 252 uh, first gear, the 400 has a 248, and then the uh, 700R4 has a 306. So there's a little bit more uh, low end gear, so a little bit more launch out of it. Again, that wasn't the, really the reason we were doing this. We wanted the high end gearing, but there is that added benefit. So one of the things that we wanted to make sure though, was that this transmission would actually fit in the truck. So this truck has the stock floor. Uh, we didn't put a tunnel in it, and we don't have a whole lot of clearance around it. The 350 just fit in there. There was maybe an inch between the top of the bell housing and the, the bottom of the firewall. So we were very concerned that whatever we put in there might not fit and we really didn't want to tunnel the floor because we wanted to keep it looking somewhat original. We did know that the transmission, the 700 is going to be a little bit longer, that's not a big deal, but it was okay, how does this bell housing uh, uh, line up with, uh, with what we have in there? So what we did was, I'll show you down here, we have the 350 which is the gray case on this side, that's what came out of it, that's what was in it, and the 700R4 is the black one. Uh, these are off a little bit, but they're pretty close to where they would be. Um, the pans are a little bit different in depth on them, but you can see the bell housings are almost exactly the same. So the overall size, even the depth of it, is almost exactly the same. The primary difference here is going to be the length. Um, the 350, you're looking at about 27 and 3 quarters of an inch from the front of the bell housing back to the spline, the edge of the spline. And then on here, uh, for the 700, we're at about uh, 30 and 3 quarters. Same thing, I just measured it to the edge of the spline. The splines stick out about the same on both of these. So um, you have about a 3 inch difference in length. But again, the primary, or the primary concern was this, was the bell housing and making sure that that was going to fit. We mocked it up, we took the 350 out, we put the 700 in there, it bolted right up and there was the same amount of clearance uh, between it and the firewall and the floor as there was with the 350. So it worked out just about perfectly. The one thing we're going to have to do, obviously, is we're going to have to change the, the mount. So we can use the mount that was in there for the 350. We're just going to make a modification to it because we need it to be back uh, a few more inches to line up with the 700. Not a big deal. We'll get that taken care of. And then the other thing we need to do is run power to this. As you can see, there's a little control uh, module down here. The 700 does have a power lockout. So we do have to take switched power. It's only one cable. We're going to take switched power from uh, you know, the dash down into, uh, into this module. That will allow us to lock and unlock the torque converter on, at highway gears. The way this transmission was built, um, um, wholesale transmissions out in New Kensington, PA, built that for us. They made it so that it's internally grounded. We literally just take a switched power down to, uh, to the feed here, and that's it. If for some reason on the highway, we're coming out of gear and we forget to unlock it, it's gonna uh, kick itself out and it's not gonna burn anything up or uh, keep us in the wrong gear. So it's a really nice build on this transmission. 
Um, the other difference between the two, you can see the uh, kick down cable on the 350 is still here. We obviously need a different one for the 700. What we did was we got uh, a whole system, the TV cable system from uh, Bowtie Overdrives and I'll show you that up here in a second. We don't have it installed yet so I'll just talk about it. It looks pretty straightforward but uh, I can tell you one thing, if you don't get this right, it's really going to mess things up and you're going to end up burning up the transmission. So what these guys do with Bowtie is they give you a bracket. This bracket, as you can see, it's going to mount underneath of the carburetor. Uh, super solid. It's not going to bend. And then you can see the square cutout here. That's where your new TV cable from Bowtie is going to go into. The other side obviously attaches down to the transmission and then we just change the linkage a little bit to make sure that it all clears everything on this new bracket. Um, but again, that is, uh, that is a huge issue on these 700R4s. If you don't get this cable system right, you will burn uh, that transmission up. There's some, uh, obviously some documentation that came with this. You have to do a little bit of tuning once everything's in place, but it's all really straightforward once you do that. Um, it's, a, it's a fairly simple swap as far as uh, all things considered on this truck. So we're going to get that taken care of. Um, and then, uh, like I said, the whole point of this truck was to build it so we can do uh, some long distance drives and get this thing out on the road. We're going to be doing the uh, Hot Rod Power Tour this year and then we plan on doing uh, Good Guys in Ohio and a couple other tours. So follow us on our Facebook feed. Uh, you can find us at Raybuck Auto Body Parts. Uh, or raybuck.com. We always have links from the website to, uh, to our YouTube and our Facebook channels so that you can see what's going on and we'll be obviously taking videos of this thing and answering questions as, uh, as we get this thing on the road. So if you have any other questions feel free to get in touch with us or check out our videos. Thanks for watching.